Hi guys, here is a look and a brief review of my entire DVD keep case collection. We're going to be starting off with the very bottom shelf here, which is my miscellaneous horror films. And that's today on the DVD review. Welcome back, guys. Um, the first movie I have up from my miscellaneous horror collection is Creep. Now, I thought this was a really cool movie. I've seen it in the cinema with my, um, my brother-in-law. If, you, uh, if you've seen this movie, please let me know what you think of it down in the, uh, descript in the uh, comments below. I thought it was a really cool film, as I uh, absolutely love horror films like this. I had this DVD in my collection for quite a while now. As I say, I've seen it in the cinema. And uh, there's like chapter selection there. And there's the disc. So now we'll move on to the next one. If you want me to do a full in-depth review on any of the um, titles I'm about to talk about, please um, um, leave, leave a comment in the description. Here we have Boogie, uh, Boogie Man from the producers of The Grudge. Again, please tell me what you think of this movie if you've uh, seen it and got it in your collection. I thought it was a fantastic movie, which is why I bought it. There's the disc there. Um, I don't think there's much I can say about this one because I haven't really seen it um, for quite a while. But I th it was a really cool film. Please let me know what you think of it. So now we'll move on to the next one. Here we have Ghost Ship. Please let me know what you think of this movie. Again, I haven't seen this one for quite a while. But when I did, I remember it, remember it being re a really good film. Please let me know what you think of it. There's the desk. Yeah. Very cool. Let me move on to the next one. And now we have Goth Gothica. Starring um, Halle Berry. And it has um, the music track from Limp Bizkit. And it's called Behind Blue Eyes by Limp Bizkit. And um, I remember this being a very good film. She like um, gets trapped into like where the place she works, which is like an asylum. You would have to um, read the movie, well, watch the movie to fully understand it and I, this is another film I haven't seen from for quite a long time but it's a really cool film so um, please let me know what you think of this movie if you've watched it and tell me what you think in the comments below and now we'll have a look at the next one here we have a movie directed by Robert Rodriguez who did From Dusk Till Dawn and it stars 
Laura Harris, who uh, played in the TV show Dead Like Me. And it's basically about a school where the um, all the teachers and all the students become aliens. Um, Robert Patrick stars in this movie also. And um, there's the cast there. We've got Clea Duvall, Laura Harris, Josh Hartnett, Sean Hot Hat Tossy, BB Newworth, and L. Joe Wood. And I remember this one being a really fantastic film. I think anything um, done by Robert Rod Robert Rodriguez is quite good. So yeah, if you've seen this film and enjoyed it, please uh, leave uh, tell me what you think in the comments. And the disc is quite blank, but uh, it's cool. Very good movie. So yeah, we'll move on to the next one. Here we have Drag Me to Hell. Very good film from Sam Raimi, the director of Spider-Man. The scariest movie of the decade. I've seen this movie in the cinema as well with my brother-in-law. And um, when I first saw it for the first time... The fight in the car lot scared me after death. I mean, that was so scary with the old woman. And um, this movie made me jump quite a bit as well. But it was really cool. Fantastic film. Quite a lot of special features you can see there. Yeah. So please let me know what you think of this movie. Drag me to hell. Moving on. Now these two films I had in my very first package from Frey Storm. The two alien films, Alien and Aliens. There's the back of both of them. Very cool films. So seeing as I have got the first two, I'll probably get Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection on uh, Steelbook. But I've got the first two movies for the collection. They're very cool films and I love them. So let's move on to the next ones. Here we have When a Stranger Calls. Now I don't know whether or not this is a remake and there was a there was a, like an original version. If there is, please let me know. So please uh, tell me if you've seen this film, if you've enjoyed it. So I say there's quite a few special features on here. Director and cast commentary. Writer's commentary. Deleted scenes, the making of When a Stranger Calls. I absolutely love this film. But please let me know what you think of it. There's the front of the cover, pretty basic. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. And here we have the Scream Trilogy. Love this box. I'm um, looking very forward for looking forward to uh, Scream Four. Whenever that one's out here, do you think it's out here in the UK yet? It probably is in America. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing Scream Four. I heard quite a good few things about it. So, but yeah, but the trilogy is fantastic. Um, you know, just the plot and how. You know, discovering who the uh, killer is in each film, which is very cool. And the plots are fantastic in these three. I can't wait to know what the story is going to be like in the fourth. But this is uh, my version of the uh, Scream trilogy. With a picture of Ghostface there on the front. Fantastic stuff. So let's move on to the next one. And up next we have is The Descent by Neil Marshall from the director of Dog Soldiers. 
I've never seen dog soldiers before. But if you have, please let me know. Is it a horror film or something like that? Two disc special edition. And there's the back of it there. There's a lot of special features. I love this movie. And the extras are really good as well. There is a sequel to this film. But I have yet to get that one. Which I will do get at some point. But I still um, haven't got it yet. But I hope too soon. As you see it's a two disc edition. Fantastic. Um, so yeah if there's any... Um, any DVDs you see in these videos that you think I should review, please let me know in the comments below. And also uh, let me know what you think of these movies if you've seen them as well. And so we'll move on to the next one. Here we have Child's Play and Child's Play 2. Now these are the only two Chucky films I have in my collection. I believe there's a Child's Play Part 3 and um, Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky. Am I right in saying that that's the only uh, films out there? I understand there's a remake of Child's Play coming out as well. But uh, these are the only two I've got. And um, there's the back of the covers. There we go. Again, if you've seen these, please let me know what you think of them in the comments below. So we'll move on to the next ones. And here we have The Ring. Now I think um, this was the first ever DVD I bought way back when I started buying DVDs. When I gave up um, purchasing VHS. So yes, this was the first DVD I ever bought. Along with the first Pirates of the Caribbean as well, I think it was. So that one was called uh, The Curse of the Black Pearl. But yeah, this was also one of my uh, first ever DVDs bought, The Ring. And also the sequel to it, The Ring 2. Both very good films. Back of the first one. And the back of the second. As always, please let me know what you think of these two films and whether you think the first was better or the second was or whatever. So yeah, let's move on. Here are another two of my favourite movies. The Grudge. I also have a copy of this in the contest I did as I received a copy from Chris J Webb 1. But this is my edition. And it's a very cool movie. And also, The Grudge Part 2. That one's a rental copy because it was a ex rental release. But that's the, uh, that's the second one. Again, please let me know what you think of these two movies. Whether you think the first one was better than the second or, or whatever. So now we move on to the next one. Here we have um, Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2. Now these are fantastic films as well. Again that one there is a X ex, ex rental and that one then there is the um, the normal release. Um, Please let me know what you think of these two movies also. Here's the back of the second film. I understand, or have read somewhere, that there's supposed to be a Jeepers Creepers 3 coming out. Am I right in saying that, or is that wrong? Please let me know. So we'll move on to the next one. And up next we have Cursed. Directed by Wes Craven and starring Christina Ricci. And it's a very cool film if you're into werewolf movies as I am. Um, 
you know if you've seen it please let me know if, what you thought of it and uh, I absolutely love this film um, so yeah there's the back of it which I've just shown you there's the front and there's the disc there very good and we'll move on to the next one and now we have an American Werewolf in London the 21st anniversary special edition and we also have a very um, long awaited sequel an American Werewolf in Paris now it has nothing to do with an American Werewolf in London but I think it's, a sti it's still a very cool story um, in this one there was like prosthetic makeups in it and uh, it was very realistic when he became the werewolf and stuff but in this one it's all CGI enhanced and I didn't like the effects it looked quite fake like computerized but um, I, 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 the story was quite cool um, please let me know what you think of both these very good films as I say this one here is a two disc there you go nice little special features on it and on this one you really just got one like plain disc just with the title but it's very good movies as the back of an American werewolf in Paris in the front of it and the back of an American werewolf in London very good and I use those extras whole lot of extra features yeah so uh, moving on to the next one up now we have the Ginger Snaps trilogy the first one is always the best out of the sequels but let's look at the cover and after that one there was Ginger Snaps Unleashed where it focuses on Emily Perkins's uh, character Bridget Fitzgerald as in the first movie her sister Ginger gets killed as she becomes a lycanthrope and her life ends as say as for big Bridget to save herself she needs to kill her sister so that's that and then this other uh the third one ginger snaps back the beginning they're all brilliant films i mean you know the the original first one is the best you know the um the third one is around about average but my favorite out of the trilogy has got to be this one Ginger Snaps uh, Unleashed. Now, I don't know why it's my favourite. It's just a very well written film. The actors are brilliant. And that's about it. So, um, you know, if you've seen these films, please let, please let me know what you think in the comments below. That would be really helpful. So now we move on to the next one. Here we have my very first um, Region 1 movie which I received in a package in my last package from Buzz on Man aka Stevie I'll put his link in the description below um, he's a very cool youtuber and I had this movie in, uh, in, in one of the packages from him um, unfortunately I couldn't play this on my DVD player because uh, my, my DVD player is um, like only for region 2 I'm gonna uh, purchase a region free DVD player soon but I was able to play it on my computer on my laptop so I watched it on there and it was a very cool film and I totally enjoyed the uh, special th uh, special features um, if you've not been written, uh, visiting my website which I've got as a rental thing for my, uh, my, my uh, family and friends close family and friends they can borrow this DVD the code is NDVD34 and the region of obviously is 1 so they need to know that if they need to um, if they need to know whether their player is region 1 or region 2 or whatever but as I say it's a brilliant film as I say I managed to see on my computer so that was good there's the disc there so I need to say a big thank you thank you for to Stevie for the sending me this because it was a very cool uh, very good of him and um, when I received it, it was still sealed as well, so that was good. 
It's a very cool movie, so we'll move on to the next one. Here is another DVD I had from Stevie. Or Buzz on Man. Um, Halloween, the very first movie, done by John Carpenter, starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Nice bit of artwork there with um, Mike Myers and his knife, or his, uh, yeah, his knife going through there. Um, there's no uh, like region mark on here, and so that makes it region zero, because this one does play on my DVD player, and so it's um, region zero. There's no region code at all, so it plays very well on my uh, on my both my computer and my DVD player. And uh, as I say, this one's from Stevie again. And uh, have a little look at the disc. There you go. It's an American release, um, region zero, so it's like there's no um, UK certificate on here, as I think it's from the um, the states. So that's that one. So let's move on. And now we have Halloween Night, which I uh, received in a package from Adam, aka the Bangor Bob. I'll uh, put his link in the description down below. And so, yeah, he's a very cool kid, and he's got an awesome collection. There are. I saw this movie after I, uh, on the night I received it, it was a very cool movie. Um, some nice special features. Yeah. This movie is uh, based on a true story, it says it right there. Yeah. A little quick look at the desk. There you go. If you've not seen this film, you've got to check it out because it's pretty good. And if you have seen it, please let me know in the comments below. Moving on. And now we have Flix Mix. The nastiest scenes from the scariest films. And the scariest boogeymen ever to appear on film. Ultimate horror boogeymen. The, the killer compilation is like the top slasher moments in horror films and one of the special features is a um, audio commentary with uh, Robert Englund aka Freddy Krueger and it's a very cool uh, DVD and it's a must have for any horror movie fan it's a fantastic uh, Thing it's got um, it talks about Freddy, Pinhead, Jason, Michael Myers, Chucky, and uh, um, the Hookman from I Know What You Did Last Summer, um, Ghostface from um, Scream. So yeah, so it just talks about like the greatest ever scary moments on film. There's the disc. So yeah, um, I recommend that you check it out, you know, if you've not done so already. If you have, please tell me, let me know what you think of it in the description. And next we have the 7 disc edition, the ultimate collector's edition, the Nightmare on Elm Street. So I say 7 disc set. It's got... Um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, all the way through to um, West Craven's New Nightmare. As it says it there, it's got um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's Revenge, Dream Warriors, The Dream Master, The Dream Child, Fred is Dead, and West Craven's New Nightmare. Now, my favourite. Or well, my favourites would have to be the very first one, obviously. And also Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. And then, all the way down to the bottom, this one here. The seventh film, West Craven's New Nightmare, because I like the plot. It was twisted because it uses their own um, real-life names in it, like Robert Englund plays himself. Heather Langenkamp plays herself. 
and a lot of the other actors as well. And it's just a really cool box set with some great movies in. I love that picture there. Um, that's of Freddy from, um, as I say, the film I like, which is uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. There's this glove on that one looks really cool. Look at that. Yeah. So next up we have Freddy vs. Jason. Um, obviously starring Freddy Krueger from the Nightmare on Elm Street series. And over here, Jason from the Friday the 13th series of films. And it says there, even a killer has something to fear. And it's a two disc set. There's a buttload of extras on here. Slash Tastic. A battle to the end or battles. So yeah. Very good movie this. One of my favourites, as you see it's a two disc edition. Just blank discs with just the writing and details on. One of my favourite uh, actresses in this film. Didn't really spend the entire movie with her in, but um, Catherine Isabel stars briefly in this, who was um, in the Ginger Snaps trilogy. So she's really cool, and um, I liked Robert Englund. I, I think Robert Englund is the best Freddy Krueger around, because in the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street, I didn't think that um, the actor was very good, but Robert Englund, he's the best Freddy there is. And um, so, yeah. As I say, tell me what you think of this movie, because um, I know that a whole lot of people, especially in the um, horror movie community, loves this movie. So please let me know what you think of this one in the comments. So we're, let's move on to the next one. Here we have the 8 disc box set of Friday the 13th, the Ultimate Collection. Now, this is the first 8 movies, but I believe that there are... Um, other sequels like um, Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X I think there is as well which I'm um, hoping to get those very soon but in the collection at the minute is the, this one with it with the eight movies all stuffed on um, eight discs but you can see there is uh, all within one two three four four covers and uh, there's some cool pictures on the back there. So if you've seen all these films, let me know what your favourite uh, favourite sequel is. Or if you think that the first one is better than the others. I'd like to know what you think. So up next we have... The last of the miscellaneous collection of horror films is this one. The remake of Friday the 13th. The Extended Cut. Um, I like this one. It stars Jared Padalecki, who stars as um, plays Sam Winchester in the series Supernatural. And I thought his uh, character in this was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it was a really good film. Please let me know what you think of it, but I liked it. So let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool movie. Very good. Here's the disc, it's just quite basic, just the title. But yeah. But this is it for the miscellaneous collection. And um, next time, we'll talk about my zombie movies.